Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. It is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 30th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Ether where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have created quite... As I was expecting, uh, resistant at the 50 moving average and also the 20 exponential moving average. At this current stage, it looks like that Bitcoin is going to turn around and retest these previous lows. Doesn't mean that we're going to completely fall apart. It uh, technically just means that we are going to retest, most likely retest the bottom of the bullish band or give or take 40, uh, 47k. If we break below that, then we'll most likely drop towards 40k and we have the 200 moving average moving this way and we'll most likely run into the 200 moving average at that point and that will also most likely um, be where buyers will come back in so one of the main reasons why we fell exactly towards this point here at the 46 uh, k is because we have the fibonacci retracement right at that point so we can see that we have the 50% uh, Fibonacci retracement right here. We are most likely going to test the 38.2 tomorrow or later on tonight. If that breaks, then we will most likely go towards the 50. And if the 50 breaks, then we have the 61.8. And that should also offer massive amount of support at the, at the 43k. You'll probably have a pullback towards the 20 exponential when we get to this point. And if we were to break lower, then we actually need to break this uh, Fibonacci retracement. And that will lead us down to 40 and the 200 moving average will that will most likely also offer massive amount of support. It's not until basically the 200 moving average breaks down here at the 35, uh, 35k that this probably will fall apart. But uh, at the moment, we are way away from that. And... Um, and um, as long as there is so much hype about this market, it's probably going to be really difficult for this market to, to collapse at this current stage. It has collapsed in the past, but uh, if you look back at 2017, 2018, it did rally uh, when we had the crossing of the, of the MACD and the signal line uh, and then we also collapsed when those signal lines crashed again and we do have that here so I did point this out uh, last week that we did have a crossing here of the signal line and that is a, a very bearish um, indication but as we did fall towards the 20 exponential here in the weekly chart it did rally and uh, you basically need to break this in order to go significantly lower. If you look at the daily again, we can see that technical indicators are very bearish for Bitcoin. So MACD is in underneath zero in bearish territory and uh, underneath the signal line. The stochastic is becoming flat, most likely going to cross the signal line indicating bearish momentum. The CCI is bearish and the RSI is also bearish at this point. So momentum is to the downside and as we got rejected here at the 50 greater than this shooting star then it is very likely that will drop towards the very lows if you manage to break above the 50 moving average then we are going to look back at the 65k so let's look at etrum so etrum is just uh, rallying every single day and uh, this candlestick here is looking fairly frightening so Usually when you get a, a shooting star like this and you get a red candlestick here uh, the next day, it tends to fall quite aggressively to the downside. We saw one right here. We also had one over here and you can go way back also here and also here that these patterns of rallying outside of the bullish band, getting significantly overstretched and pulling back, creating a shooting star usually means that we'll fall back towards the middle of the bullish band at uh, 2345 at this point or even towards the bottom of the bullish band roughly at the 2050. Technical indicators are still um, bullish at this point so we haven't started this downtrend but uh, 
if we do rally from here, uh, then we'll most likely continue rallying up towards uh, 2,700, 2,800, and then towards 3,000. But a red candlestick here tomorrow, that should be a warning that this could drop before going higher. We're still in uptrend. There is a massive amount of support at the 20 exponential and the 50, as you can see in uh, historical patterns here. So let's look at ADA. So also here, we tried to rally and gave most of those rally, uh, those uh, gains back, actually all of those gains back because we created this inverted hammer here, which also is a very bearish uh, signal. If you look at technical indicators, they are not as bearish as this would conclude. We are in bullish territory here and uh, about to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum in the MACD. The stochastic is bullish, the CCI is heading towards 100 or getting flattened out here, but it's still in bullish territory. And the RSI is, uh, is flat at this current stage. If we break below the 20 and the 50, then we could retest the bottom of the bullish band at 1.04. And a rally from here will most likely find major resistance up here at 1.47. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin, uh, very similar to, uh, to also Bitcoin. It did fall, had a major rally up towards the middle of the bullish band and then gave most of those gains back. And it looks like we are, uh, if we cross uh, the 20 exponential again, we'll drop back towards the 50 moving average and probably the very bottom of the bullish band down here at 211. We are also in a uptrend here, the 50, 20, bottom of the bullish band, all of these uh, support levels have, or moving averages and support levels have been significant support in the past and they are still acting like that. As you can see, when we fell down here, people were ready to buy when we hit the 50 moving average. As they, they can, can see that every time we have fallen towards the 50, it has rallied towards the upside. Same here and so here. But at this point, we are most likely heading, hit the Fibonacci retracements as we saw here. We we're getting close to the 50 and then turned around. And at this point, we could fall back towards the lows and before going higher. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is in bullish territory, but underneath the signal line, it is it, it is in bearish momentum. The stochastic is still bullish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. If we manage to rally above the middle of the bullish band, we could head towards the very top here at 303. So let's look at NEO. So NEO, very similar. We fell, we rallied, and then we gave most of those um, that rally back. So we're heading back towards the 20 exponential. We're trading at 16, uh, 86 at this current stage. We're still far off from where we basically started this year. We were all the way down at $13. We got up towards roughly $132. So a massive rally of more um, in this uh, critical of 11x. And, uh, we have given some of those gains back, but still we are finding support at the 20 exponential. If that were to break, then we could drop towards the 50 down here at 61, and that should offer massive support as you see right here. That's where we took off really to the upside when we hit the 50 moving average. Technical gears are all pointing to lower levels, so they are all bearish at this current stage. So let's look at Dash. So Dash, very similar here. We created this shooting star here, fell, rallied, found major resistance at the middle of the bullish band, and now we're trading just at the 20 exponential, a little bit underneath. Um, so if we continue, we'll most likely find support here at 249. If that breaks, we could drop towards the middle bottom of the bullish band at 222, which should offer massive amount of support. Technical indicators are all bearish at this point, except for the stochastic that is hasn't crossed the signal line yet, but most likely will if this continues to fall. Rally above the 20, uh, 20 moving average in the middle of the bullish band here could open the door to the top of 356. So let's look at Fran. So Fran is basically the same char chart over and over again. Rallies 
fell towards the support down here at the 50 moving average, rallied towards the middle of the bullish band, and then we broke down towards the 20 exponential. If this breaks, then we can head back towards the 50 down here at 0 0.09. Otherwise, we could also bounce from here and head towards the top of the of the bullish band at 0 0.16. If you look at technical indicators, they are all bearish except for the stochastic. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to follow our trades over here at Detro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.